gentlemen, it's your boy Moe's Hawk here, and I have just came around the corner of this neighborhood, and I saw a big-ass fire. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey, did anybody call 911? Okay. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That looks really crazy. Shit. Somebody's fucking house is on fire. The fuck? On a list of shit that I never thought I'd see, that is pretty far up there on the damn list. Damn, oh, I don't want to bust my ass. Fuck. Oh shit. Okay. Motherfucker. Damn, now it's a house fire. Oh shit. Let me go over here and park. Before I can't. <laughs> Cause you know the cops are gonna block off the street. Yep. Yep. Let me get the fuck out of here. So, ladies and germs, uh, after that footage uh, that I just had at the beginning of this, um, obviously what you saw was a house fire. Um, you, you know, some bushes had uh, started catching fire, and then uh, the fire had came up. And, um, you know, I guess just at the end, depending on where I cut this off, uh, you know, we had uh, some firemen on their way uh, to put out the fire, make sure everybody was okay. And, uh, you know, just seeing that, I wanted to make this moto vlog about real heroes. Now, I know everybody picks their heroes, and it's, uh, you know, I guess to some people it's, you know, uh, subject it's a subjective thing. Who you would want to call a hero? Some people think Bruce Jenner is a hero, Caitlyn Jenner, whatever you want to say. Uh, personally, when I think of heroes, I think of people like the firefighters that showed up, the good police officers that I see that help people, that are willing to lay their life on the line, just like those firefighters, uh, paramedics, soldiers, people like that are what I consider heroes. Um, people that will lay their life down on the line for, no, for people that they don't even know on a day-to-day -day basis for a job just because they feel like it's the right thing to do or just because they really want to help people. Um, those type of people, in my opinion, deserve a lot of respect. Um, you know, I know there's been a lot of hate for police officers, and uh, I can tell you, not I am not all the time a big fan of the police. However, I do have friends that were former police officers, um, and, you know, I do know uh, guys in law enforcement now, guys that I went to school with, uh, that are really good guys, um, you know, upstanding police officers, you know. And uh, those guys I respect a lot. You know, obviously we have people that abuse uh, power, um, and that's not just police officers. That's in a lot of, you know, elected officials and things like that, a lot of people with authority. But, you know, good police officers are very important people and they are heroes the racist pricks that are just shooting people and things like that th those people are not what i would regard as a hero you know i know people all people say you know judge this judge that yeah i understand law enforcement is a very difficult job and there are times where law enforcement officers make decisions that uh you know the general public doesn't like um but you know there are actually times where you know, I have to agree with certain tough decisions because I don't know what I would have done differently. Uh, obviously, when you go to, um, you know, shooting unarmed people, beating restrained people, these are things that I do not like and uh, I would not condone for any law enforcement official, officer. Oh, shit, left my turn signal. I'm talking too much. But, um, 
the the good cops that you know show up to save people people's lives and that do save people's lives uh, and that do great things for people that's uh those are the type of police officers i look up to uh as as you know as heroes um uh, i've got a buddy um i've given him props he was a uh, volunteer firefighter uh, i think when from when he turned 18 to uh when he couldn't do it anymore because he moved um you know he is a uh very good friend of mine and i think i have regarded him given him his regards like man you know i'll just straight up tell him dude you uh you did some hero shit because uh you know he's told me a uh, couple of stories just about you know some of the things that's happened to him some of the things he's been through you know even at you know the age of 18 uh young guy you know he saved people's lives and you know seen a lot of messed up stuff and he uh you know he's done a lot to help people so uh you know he's one of the people I respect for that, for those actions. Um, and, you know, it's not just people I know, but everybody. Like I said, uh, everybody, all of your, uh, you know, paramedics too. I knew some of those. Uh, worked with a guy who's a volunteer paramedic who, uh, you know, he's he saved uh, he saved lots of lives too. Um, you know, just my, uh, my whole point of making this, you know, especially after seeing that house fire, is, uh, you know, don't forget who your real heroes are. And... Uh, Oh, and by the way, I am not forgetting about soldiers. Uh, those people are, you know, it's not heroes also. It's not heroes as well. They're all on the same level. I mean, I, you know, I, the only reason I did, you know, uh, most talking on first responders and stuff is just because, you know, that's what I saw that's fresh in my head. But, you know, whenever you think about the word hero, um, remember all of your soldiers that are overseas right now fighting so that you can enjoy your constitutional rights and you know your freedoms as an American citizen you know just bear in mind you have people that are taking times away from their families for the holidays and other stuff like that just because you know they want to do the right thing and they want to serve their country so you know to all my friends overseas because uh, I'm pretty sure I got a couple right now that are deployed you know gotta say a few par prayers for them uh, you know shout out to everybody's uh, family who has people overseas serving and uh, you know your family members that are serving as you know heroes on American soil you know hats off to everyone that is, uh, that is doing the right thing and you know living the hero's life so uh, guys I'm going to start ta stop talking now um, you know I just had to get that out there just to let everybody know how I felt about the uh, real heroes that are out there and uh, if you are one of those real heroes serving you know thank you very much too all right guys peace